It's Patty Fawcett! I don't know how to get that back up, so I'm sorry who was next. <laughs> Hide it there. Oh my god, there are a lot of you, aren't there? Just come down swarms. Um, I had this happen to me earlier this morning, but I just want to ask you guys if it's ever happened. Do you ever have that moment where someone comes up to you and starts talking to you, but you just can't for the life of you just remember like who the hell they are? And you're just trying to find little things about them just to jog your memory, like the colour of their shoes or something. You're just kind of there like a crap, okay. Blue coat, yellow shoes. Blue coat, yellow shoes. Oh my god, blue coat, yellow shoes, mum, it's you! Nah, I love my mum, she's great, but she loves animals, she loves them a lot. I think it's gone to the point now though where she kind of loves the animals more than she loves the children. Like, she'll get home from work and she'll be all like, oh, hi honey, how's your day? It's like, oh, thanks mum. Actually, it's a really cool thing happened where you were talking to the dog. Yep. But um, I think sometimes it might just be confusion, you know, because um, I've got quite hairy legs. Thanks for the confidence boost. Body issues, but um, they're actually less hairy now than they were when I was a baby. Like as a baby, I had such hairy legs that my mum accidentally took me to the vet. You know, roll the balls for Patty, but it turns into a lesbian now, so I wasn't too good at chasing them. All right, um, that's good. Uh, I, well, some, something that I do quite enjoy in life is uh, words that have kind of double meanings or that like allude to something else. You know, like you can have like a paper. It might be a paper written on something, you know, like a subject, or it might just be a piece of paper. Or you know, you can have like a toolbox. You know, like where you put your tools, or you can have like a far right convention where you put your tools. Um, it does tend to stress me out a little bit though, because uh, sometimes it happens in advertising. And where I live, Bendigo, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit bogan, and they've got a Bunnings there and its lowest prices are just the beginning, and I want to know what the rest is. And it's, it stresses me out because I'm fairly convinced that it's an underground brothel, mainly because they have sausages out the front and hose out the back. <laughs> what is more concerning is they keep selling fertilizer and shovels next to it, so. Um, I went to America recently, it's a good time. First day in America, walking around. America has a lot of flags. All their buildings, cars, basically everywhere, and I thought, oh, this is a bit interesting. I might take a quick photo of every group of flags, every American flag I see, and then my phone ran out of storage on the first day, which is just, you know, an interesting difference because, you know, in America, you have an American flag in your front door, good, standard American. In Australia, you have an Australian flag in your front door, you're racist. Uh, one difference that uh, no one bothered to tell me about was uh, in America, rubber means condom which meant I spent the entirety of an arts trip asking people for new rubbers because mine kept breaking. <sighs> I did find one fact though that I think the men in the audience would be very happy with. Uh, so on average, Australians have a bigger um, appendage size than Americans. And I think they found out about this and tried to make up for it with their president. <laughs> Sad thing is it's really working. But yeah, I think, I think Trump gets a bad rap. I don't think he's actually, he's, I don't think he's actually that bad, you know, because we have amazing people of the LGBT, amazing women of colour, just amazing people, but there's just, there's no one there for the dickheads to look up to. <laughs> but now all the nitwits have somewhere to aspire to. Climate change has been a bit of a thing lately. And uh, I find it quite interesting. I think, I think it's quite interesting, you know, the debate on climate change. The debate on climate change is the only time I've heard far rights not use the phrase, think of the children. But I do find it quite amusing, you know, because it's, it's just getting hotter and hotter up there and they're all in these, these nice warm suits. Just the weather's just getting hotter and hotter. Which leads me to believe the suits will just have to start getting shorter and shorter. Three quarter pants, some nice shorts maybe. Leads me to believe the day we see ScoMo in booty shorts and a bing tang singlet is the day we see some real change. <sighs> it does make me wonder though, you know, what are they going to do? When things get really, really bad, what are they going to do? Are they going to follow Trump's lead and just build a wall to block out the immigrant sun rays while making the ozone layer pay for it? And immigration, that is another dumb debate, isn't it? Oh, it cracks me up. I hear a lot of people say things like, oh, they'll come over here, they'll come over here and they'll steal our jobs. And I'm like, A, drinking's not a profession, Kevin. <laughs> and B, if it's ScoMo's jobs they're taking, I'm all for it. I've been Paddy Fox, thank you very much. Patty Fawcett!